it's Johnny Thrash here with this week's Rock Rundown. Earlier this week, Metallica's James Hetfield told Philadelphia radio station WMMR that even though the new album, Hardwired to Self-Destruct, has been assembled, they're still trying to figure out ways to make it better. However, on Thursday, the band announced the album was done after tweaking the deluxe edition by adding some of their recent covers, along with the live version of Hardwired from their recent show in Minneapolis. Hardwired to Self-Destruct is out November 18th. In a new interview with Top Guitar, Tool bassist Justin Chancellor offered a slight update on the band's new album. He initially told the interviewer not to ask about the album, but eventually conceded the record's going to be awesome. Chancellor went on to say that it's going to happen, it's in the oven, it's cooking. Seriously, those were his words. In response to former Guns N' Roses guitarist Izzy Stradlin's claims that the other members didn't want to split the reunion money equally, GNR Truth message board admin and band insider MSL wrote that Stradlin was in rehearsals at one point and was negotiating to appear at a few of the band's April gigs, but equal pay was never discussed. Instead, a five-figure cameo fee per show was what was being negotiated, which ultimately Stradlin turned down. In other Guns N' Roses news, former keyboardist Chris Pittman suing Axl Rose over unpaid debt. According to TMZ, Pittman claims Rose wrote him a promissory note for $125,000 that he was owed for over a year's worth of work. In the suit, the keyboardist claims that Rose was supposed to pay up before October 2012, but failed to. According to Pittman, Rose now owes him $163,000 due to interest. Rush's Getty Lee and Alex Lifeson are said to be honored with the key to the city of Toronto. Toronto Mayor John Tory spokesperson Amanda Galbraith said in a statement to the Toronto Sun that Rush's sound helped shape Toronto's own musical identity, which has always been and continues to be a unique hybrid of styles and influences. Born and raised in Toronto, the duo will receive the honor during a special ceremony this Saturday. For more on these stories, click the links in the description below. And for the latest rock news, go to 1063thebuzz.com.